is up everybody how y'all doing today on yes a beautiful day today i can say a beautiful day because man the sun's out it's already 82 degrees it's 10 o'clock in the morning man it is a nice day i stopped at the house last night um my path took me pretty close so it was close for me to time to stop or get ready to stop anyway so i stopped and went home uh, cooked on the grill, had a good time there at the house. Got up this morning, got back on the road. Made my delivery in Albany. I am still currently in Albany right now. They got me a load coming out of the uh, Miller Coors, which I figured that is where I would be picking up. But they got me going back to the Carolinas. So I'll be going to Florence, South Carolina, dropping off the load there. Gonna stop up here at the Pilot and fill up with fuel and then i'm going to go across the street to the molson cores and get the load there but i'll get back with you guys after i get checked in through security over there and show you some dropping and hooking all right so we are at molson cores here in albany we got checked in got our tandem slid all the way to the back which kind of sucks when you're trying to maneuver around these places but hey they make you do it so you'll leave them unlocked so when you get to where you're going all you have to do is just hit the brake and slide them forward and then back in your spot it makes it a whole lot easier so i have to go drop this trailer up here straight ahead what they call the hanger but yeah um drop this trailer out here and then I will pick up on C57. C row is back behind us there, just past it. Looking for trailer number 19411. Yeah, get y'all a little drop and hook action. I don't think y'all have got to see that yet. Like I said, it's gonna be terrible backing up to the new trailer because this truck, for whatever reason, if you don't hit the other trailer, it don't wanna lock. You know, normally, when I was with my trainer's truck, I mean, yeah, I'd slip up every now and then. And, oh God. I'd slip up every now and then and hit it a little harder than I wanted to. It activate the camera and all that good shit, but sorry, didn't mean to cuss. But uh, yeah, <laughs> but for the most part, um, come on there, Bob Tail. There you go, yeah, work with me there, bud. Oh, you were fixing to rip the bottom out from under your truck. See, that's another thing too with the tandem slid the trailer don't want to turn as good you can't make tight corners what was that oh yeah but uh for the most part i got pretty good at just you know easing back under the trailer and letting the fifth wheel lock around the kingpin get locked up real good but this truck here if you try that it will not lock it'll just yeah, I mean you gotta hit it. You can do it two three times and it might lock, but most time you just gotta kinda hit it. Oh, we got a hole right here? I think we got a hole. Nope. Uh, I could, uh, that's a little tight. We won't do that. I don't wanna risk it. I could always get it in there, don't get me wrong, but you know why squeeze it in a tight space when you got all these other open areas over here that you can put it in just the only thing is if i got to put it on that side i need to go down here and turn around so i'll be oh there we go right there so the tandems are unlocked so i'm going to go ahead and slide them forward so it'll be easier to turn in there Oh 
looking good now. Actually, looking a little too good. You big dummy. Told you. Y'all watching now, I'm blowing it up. Easy hole like that, can't even get it in. Because of the pressure, y'all are putting pressure on me. <laughs> I'm close, but I am okay. Get past it right up here now, cut it. Look how close your boy got. Didn't hit it. Didn't hit it. Look, it's actually in the tire tracks where the other trailer. Well, not quite. It was a little off. Okay. I was bragging a little too soon. But still, not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take it. Slide the tandems. back in slide them now that the lock is out make sure that it locks you don't want the yard dog hooking up to it and the tandem does not be locked and it slides all over the place I've actually hooked up to a couple of trailers that was done that way before and it's not cool <laughs> stupid Freaking rookies, man. Rookies. <laughs> hey, but if anything, I'm giving you all some uh, good footage. <laughs> Bet you're having a blast laughing at me, huh? Bet you are. Bet you are. <laughs> Ooh, smells like dog doo doo out here. Oh god, no, I just caught a whiff of freaking like cow manure. Dang. This sucker there is tight. I love it when it does that. It, it seems to always do it when I get right here. When I get right here, it won't give me just a couple more minutes, let me walk away. Nope, it's gonna do it when I'm right there. It blows the dirt everywhere. Now, if I'm on pavement, it don't do it. Only in the dirt. Oh, God, I'm gonna do it again. Uh, I forgot this trailer was messed up. Uh, normally, you sit there and just spin it with one hand, but of course, this one is tough. It wants to be a pain in the butt with everything else. Come on. Peace. Gonna work out today, boys. There we go. All right. That's how it's supposed to be. Make sure the tandems did lock, which I know they did. It's always good to double check. Yep. They locked. Whew. It's hardest work I did all day. Man, it's hard out here. <laughs> yeah. Do it the old lazy man way. It's not really lazy. I mean, hey, if you got it, use it. It's 
my automatic kingpin release. I mean, you could. You could always just. Man, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that big boom just him, but. Oh, shit. Didn't see you there, bud. Might have been him. Well, yeah, I, I looked, but I couldn't see. Are you trying to come out? Come on there, bud. Yeah, but I was uh, <laughs> dropping the trailer there, and oh, he's going four wheeling. Yeah, I was dropping my trailer there, and as soon as it come out from under, I heard boom. Scared me. I thought it was my trailer. I thought it did something. Oh no! <laughs> I was like, what now? But no, we're all good. All right, so this is zero. I'm looking in. 57. It's gonna be all the way down another end. Hey, there's another Miller's truck down there. It's gonna pretty much be down there where they're at. Do you have my trailer? You better not have my trailer. You better unhook, unhook now. Sure, nothing is coming. Boy, them yard dogs, they be zipping through here. It ain't nothing for one of them to haul ass around the corner and then look at you like you're crazy. What is it? 19411. 19411. 19411. Um, 57. Okay, there it is. There it is. Found it. 19-4-11. That's her. I was about to say this truck sounds bad. That's a jack over there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> He's got a serious problem. These trailers I use, I always I think this one will be all right. I say I use, I always have to uh, let them down because they're always so high. But I think this one's all right. It's gonna slam. I know it is. It's gonna slam. Oh, it didn't slam. Didn't lock. All right, I think we got hooked up that time. All right, two successful tug testers. Yeah, let's hook this one up. Oh. Turn my flashes on and my lights. I do that so I can check to make sure all lights work when I hook it up. Jackhammer, don't it? <laughs> See? Well, I did lie. I said it never does it on the asphalt, but it just did. Lights hooked up. No gap. Make sure it's closed. Yep. Ah, 
that's how they're supposed to work. Lights working. I'm gonna have to slide my tandems, get them right. Check those lights are working. Lights up top working. That four way is working. Tires look good. Thing underneath looking good. Brakes look good. All right. It's looking good. Now, strap the cargo. Look at that truckload of beer, boys. All right. Now, go get the straps. You know, you probably don't want to see all that boring crap there. All I'm going to do is get my straps, put an X across the back of them, make sure it's locked down, and I'm going to hit the road, guys. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed that. And I will catch y'all on the next one. All right, and just like that, we have the load strapped. Uh, weighed across, went across the scales, got weighed. Everything is good, so we got on the way. Um, it's dark again. Yeah, so it's the next morning. Uh, some of my viewers would know exactly where I'm at right here, right now. The big town of Harlem. <laughs> yep, that's where I'm from, everybody. So the route where I'm going actually brought me down this highway here which is 221 it was bringing me straight through the way I'm going now to my destination and I only live I mean literally like two minutes from here it's where I'm leaving now I just left my house so uh, your boy got to go home again two nights in a row that was great but uh yeah, I only had, I don't know, about an hour and a half left on my clock when I shut down. Um, I would have liked to have drove some more, but the thing is, the place I'm going to, I don't even know if I told everybody where I'm going to. Um, anyways, uh, the place I'm going to is by appointment only, so I have an appointment at 8 a.m. this morning. Well, I'm only like two hours and 40 foot, what GPS says, two hours and 46 minutes away. I'm leaving at four o'clock, so you know, that still puts me there early. If I'd have drove through yesterday and got, you know, my hour and a half, if I'd have drove, you know, my clock out, I'd have been even closer to my destination. So I'd have A, woke up and started my trip and had to wait a lot longer than I may have to wait today to get unloaded or just wait later to start my clock but you know I really don't like starting late so I chose the best option for me and the best option for me was to shut down and go home so that's what I did but yeah I will click back on and get with you guys when we get to the destination good start to the day hope we have a good one let's get it and we are in Florence South Carolina now it is saying that we are two minutes from our destination Had to get over two minutes from our destination we got seven tenths of a mile I am actually an hour and 15 minutes early it's um, appointment unloading I really hope that they'll go ahead and take me what are you doing car yeah, I really hope that they'll go ahead and take me but if not I guess you just have to sit for an hour but hey that's part of it This is going to be 
tight here. Tight, tight, tight. Alright guys, be back with you in a minute. Alright, so I'm checked in. I uh, had to wait for that truck to move. This is a messed up spot. I'm gonna have to do kind of a blind side here. I'm not really sure the best way that I want to go about this. If I can get my trailer started in the hole. Get my mirror angled here so I can see what I'm doing. Boy, this is gonna be a fun one for you guys. It's fun for me. Just take a look at what we got right there. Oh yeah, we're good. I just kinda need to get it in the hole. And then, once I get it in the hole, I can kinda pull up then. And then get it where I need it. But man, this is a really, really tight spot here. I can kind of see now. There we go. I ought to be pretty close. That's a damn mirror. I moved it. Now it's all out of whack. Oh man. Yeah. Not bad. Man, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Still not great, but you know. Let's see, get my trailer straight here. Adjust my mirror. I do have to slide the tandems. This is a tight hole, man. There we go. Now I'm going to go unlock the tandems to get those slid. Easy guys. I don't know what you was all stressed out about talking about it's gonna be a hard back. Come on. tandem slide so damn easy almost makes me feel like was that it <laughs> yeah that was it 
slide so easy, it just don't seem right to me. Yeah, I'm used to it snatching and yanking and jerking and all that good stuff. Nice little tent. And there we are. So yeah, that wasn't too bad. I actually thought that when I come in, I was gonna have to go up, circle all the way around, come back up and out the drive, and then back in this way so I could sight side it. You know, be able to see it a lot better, but watching the other truck when he pulled up it was so tight and i mean he didn't even have nobody beside him here i think in reality if he just turned you know went up a little bit and turned i mean i'm sure i could get out right there but he just made it look tighter to me the way he did he just pulled up and of course he was sl sliding his tandems and his doors and stuff but he turned and then he had to back up then he had to turn so it looked real tight when he was going out so the way i was pulled up and kind of angled already i was like you know if i keep going around and do that it's probably gonna give me more trouble so i just decided to go ahead and keep the angle i was at back up and then start turning the other way to kick my trailer around and at least get it in the hole so i could pull up like i did and get straight and kind of see what i needed to do so you don't ever want to blindside you know if you can sight side but in this situation it was actually the better choice for me and it wasn't that bad I had plenty of room um i was able to see but yeah that was fun 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 oh yeah and <laughs> obviously i mean it's obvious right they uh, did take me early so that's great i was really hoping i didn't have to sit here an hour for my original appointment time but that was good so yeah I'm going to cut the clip right here and get back with you on the next one.